Let's get into this haul. I'm on a health journey to lose 150 pounds and I am 73 pounds down. These are supposed to be dupes for Chick-fil-A nuggets, but it has some tropical flute. Flute? Fruit. Womp, remember last spring when everyone started baking bread and you couldn't find yeast anywhere? This is a long one. Did you grab a snack? Maybe stop and get a snack. I left the chocolate aisle. He's followed me. I think this is the mom section. My bank account hurts. I'm not mad about it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren back with another video and today is a... Oh, can you see it? A truck pulled up next to me now you can't see it a costco haul but we are long overdue i have been pushing off this costco haul for days now and we need a restock terribly it's been probably just over four weeks since my last run to costco so there's a ton of stuff we're out of especially freezer and pantry staples snacks it's summertime we want to get some summer staples i'm definitely showing you my whole haul when we get home so stay tuned and let's head into costco see what deals we can find see what summer specials they have and stop sweating because whew, jeans were a bad choice to sit in the car and try and film. It got hot in here very fast. We have a couple options for these solar LED string lights. So these would be so great for like your backyard or patio. These are really cool. They have both those and then this set with the solar panel and they're both coming in on special for $39.99. Josh and I have been talking about some of these for the backyard, actually. We have the perfect little four trees in a row. This would help make some nice ambiance. Hey, oh, an outdoor table set with chairs. This is really cute. Um, way marked down if you're willing to take the display. Wouldn't fit on my teeny tiny backyard patio, but if it would, I'd be sitting here drinking margaritas all summer. More patio stuff, outdoor area rugs, 710 by 10. That's a pretty big rug for, for $100. Kind of cute. I like the bold patterns. I like this navy color. I think it's supposed to be this one. This doesn't really look like that though. I may or may not be very tempted just to jump right in the middle of all of those fluffy stuffies. It's a good thing I did not bring Lila. I have a feeling I'd be leaving with a scuba hello kitty doll oh no can we talk about this mermaid one i loved hello kitty in the 90s anyone else 90s kids 20 bucks it's a huge plush got some really good deals on pillows and a mattress for 160 dollars a full size i feel like those would be great for either a guest room or a kid's room josh and i've actually been looking for a mattress like we kind of want a bed in a box one they don't have we want to get a king size we have a queen right now and we'd love to just have a little bit more room you guys know i am like 5'10 my husband's 6'2 we need a king size let's keep looking i think i heard they had a lot of mattresses in stock right now oh i definitely need some refills for our toothbrushes josh and i have a twin pair of the sonic airs for 49.99 is a, i know it's six of them and that will last a long time I don't know if I can do it. I have like dupes that I find on Amazon that I just feel like are a little bit cheaper and they work just as well. So not today. They have some great options in for luggage right now. Look at the hard cases, guys. $60 for a travel size hard case. I remember when we were back in Chicagoland visiting my family the last time over Easter, I had to buy an extra suitcase to make it home because my mom and I bought Lila like an entire summer wardrobe. We couldn't help it. We hadn't been shopping together in a long time. And how can you say no to cute toddler girl clothes? But I had to buy a suitcase. I ran out to Target and I dropped $80 on like something similar to this. I mean, this is a Sam's Tonight, so that's a nice one. That's like 140 bucks. But I could not find even a kid's suitcase anything cheaper than $80. So to have some of these hard cases for 60, or they have these ones that are the fabric for 54. Mm, these would be great if you guys have summer travel coming up. I feel like they must have like store karaoke going on. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it definitely has music and I'm pretty sure that's a real human singing. $17 for a double pack. Whoa, whoa, lights just went out. Get out, they said. $17 for a double pack of these mugs. These kind of look similar to like what a Yeti mug would be. We have a couple of the Yetis and they're amazing. I think it's supposed to be 
like a recycle friendly company, but I can't find anywhere on the packaging where it actually talks about recycling. But keeps your drinks hot for four hours. Single serve dishwasher safe. We like to hear that as mamas. These would be so fun if you had like a boat or were planning to go on boats or camping. Lots of fun for summer. I would get some, but my husband would kill me. I have way too many cups and mugs as it is. Anyone else just love collecting random cups and mugs? That's me. We have two of our kitchen cabinets just full of them. Okay, wow guys, look at this deal. $100 off instant savings, $299.99 down to $199.99 for a 10-piece Cathlon non-stick set. Six pots and pans, four lids. Ooh, these look nice. I love that they have like the displays too. They feel nice and heavy duty. I'm kind of tempted, guys. We've been getting random like bits and pieces of cookware since we got married, but we never got a whole set. And I think it was just something we never got off our registry and then we never forked over the money to buy one. I just kept collecting random pieces. And they also have a Kirkland 12 piece set for $119.99. Well, how fun is this little guy? $15 for a three gallon drink dispenser. This would be great for graduation parties, family get-togethers, holidays, hello Memorial Day weekend right now, uh, but also 4th of July coming up. That's so fun how they have like the lemonade and then it has these trays, I think, up here. Oh yeah, here. It does have like a little space. You could stack fruit and things like that. You could DIY, build your own little fruit water. Here you go, another set for your graduation party or summer fun party. Look at how cute this little set of four dishes is. Four colors, comes with a tray, dips, nuts, snacks. Super cute for outside. Nice and colorful, $17.99. My husband has been so into using the smoker he got this year and barbecuing a prep and serve barbecue tray. This is awesome. He's always using like our roasting pan, like for turkey for the holidays to prep his barbecue meat in because we don't have another tray big enough. This is so cool. It's an extra large barbecue tray. It's a set of two. So they stack and you can prep it with the red part up. And then when the meat's done, you flip them and you use the black tray. That way you don't have any cross contamination of your meat. That would be a great Father's Day gift. They have a number of other grill things. They have these barbecue baskets, great for grilling veggies. Ooh, look at this guy. That's intense. That's a whole, a whole set. One more close up. I love how it has the grooves in the trays because you see the drippings get locked in the grooves and you're not gonna like slush and spill them all over the place as you're walking back in the house from outside. Okay, here we go. More mattresses. We have, let's see, a Harmony Gel Foam 150. Ooh, this one might be worth a look. I've heard of the Casper ones. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you guys have a bed in the box? Would you consider one? This one is a king coming in at only $640. That looks nice. And then a queen for $479 in the Casper. And then we have $599 for a king and $499 for a queen for these Comfort Grand. Okay, guys, we really are looking for a king size bed in a box mattress. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any recommendations. This is how you know I'm not ready for adult life yet. I see these safes and I so badly want to just like tuck in side oh that's can't open that well okay so much for a display model you can't open it i so badly want to tuck inside like a leather portfolio that has like new drawings like jack would have done on the titanic wedged in there along with the heart of the ocean necklace any other titanic fans leo you're my life if you guys have kids and you need to restock your beach towels, this is the place to be. Two youth beach towels for $15. You can't get a single beach towel at Target right now for $15, I feel, the last time I went. These are all so cute. Lots of fun bright colors. $10 for one. I will say though, these are 35 by 70. I mean, that seems pretty big. I don't know the measurements, but I usually like those really oversized beach towels. The bigger the better. We at one point at Walmart bought a king size quilt and that's what we always use when we go to the beach. It's like a very cheap and expensive one and we can throw it in the wash, the dryer, we don't care about it and it's huge so we just lay that out and then we use our beach towels for like drying instead of laying on. Okay more instant savings $39.99 to $29.99 on these 300 count organic pure earth sheet sets. 
these are pretty soft for 300 thread count, I will say. Ooh, this one feels really nice. I like this almond shell, it's a nice color. Yeah, they have a couple different colors, some grays, definitely lots of earth tones. You got some white, some gray, some blue. These feel nice for $29.99, steel. Also $13.99 for this huge eight pack of kitchen towels. These feel so nice and thick and like they'd be really absorbent. And they have some really fun colors in this set. Like it all is like monochromatic in that same color tone, but you get a couple different textures and colors. These are super cute. I like those. And when we buy that mattress, I can come back and stock up on all the pillows. They have tons of choices. And there you go. If you don't want your bed to come in a box, you can get a regular mattress and base too. Around the same price, like 700-ish for a king size mattress. 150 for a base. <laughs> I started going down that aisle to check it out and I'm like, whoop, this is my husband's aisle. It's like batteries and car jump things and flashlights and that's his territory. I'm moving on to the fun stuff. Look at how sweet these little life vests. Lila actually will need a new one if we end up going on the lake this summer. So we actually live near a lake in Georgia, but $20 for a life vest. That seems like a pretty good price. Um, she has finally outgrown her infant one. Let's see, these are 33 to 55. Yeah, this is the size she would need now. She's like right on that 33 pound cusp. She's been like hovering between 30 and 33 pounds for like the last year and a half of her life. Um, and then they do have ones that are bigger too. Nice and bright colors too, so you'll always see the kids and adult ones. Goggles, all the, all the water things. We don't have room in our garage for any of this kind of stuff. However, my husband's <laughs> pandemic project was to build a canoe by hand and he did it. He just finished the last piece. So he's finishing up the install and then we're gonna take it out on the lake. So make sure you guys are subscribed. I'm sure we will do a little adventure on the lake this summer and show off his hand built canoe. All the tents and hammocks and things for all of your fun outdoor adventure pleasure. They do have a lot of options. I don't know if you guys caught it. We actually did a little early camping trip and just got back last week. We did a couple nights. My husband loves to camp, he's an Eagle Scout. So that's been fun. Another summer must have. It's a lot of sunscreen for $12.99. If the battery aisle was the husband section, I think this is the mom section. I'm here for it. Ooh, I like this one. And if you need an affordable staple, we actually really love the Josh Sellers wines. They're super good price here at Costco, only $11.89 a bottle. I wanna say the Josh wines run more like $14.15 in like a regular grocery store. So that's a great price. Did you guys celebrate National Wine Day last week? At least, well, I'm not exactly sure when this video is going up. Depends on how much editing I have to do for it and how long I enjoy just walking around staring at wine in Costco, am I right? But I did enjoy National Wine Day. Even on WW, it's only five points for glass, so I can make it work in my weekly points. These, on the other hand, I have no idea what the points are, but these look so fun, especially for the holiday weekend. A little like freezer mock cocktail. You guys have the booze in them? Ready to freeze. A strawberry freeze, a lime drop, and a watermelon hibiscus. Okay guys, I just scanned it. They come in at 100 calories or less and they're only three points on the WW Blue plan. And they're like, they're almost um, like the popsicles when you're kids, you know, like the little tubies, but they're alcohol. Okay, I'm kind of here for those. Alcohol popsicles I can get behind. I, I think I'm past this point, guys. I'm 32. I really don't think, I'm just not this cool. I'm not cool enough to have jello shots in my fridge as an adult. I am a sucker for some pretty packaging and look at how beautiful these bottles are. The Sula Boot Tropical from India. I don't know if it's really from India. I don't know, I'd have to check. Oh, I think so, because look, these say California. So, must be the, must be the actual locale, but $10 this is a full-size bottle of like sparkling wine. It has fruit flavors. Look at the, I like that they put a little description because sometimes you find new bottles and you're like, I have no idea what that's gonna taste like. But I think this might be something fun. It's Josh and I's fifth anniversary this weekend. And it'd be nice to pop a little bubbly. Although I am a sucker for just classic Prosecco. 
honestly, I am such a bubbles girl. I love champagne. Like if we're out and I'm getting a single glass, like kind of a cocktail or a drink, I'm not really into hard liquor at all, but I do love a glass of champagne or sparkling wine. Yum. Or red wine. Those are my two loves. So I didn't mean for this to be a wine tour, but I'm finding so many fun things over here. Okay, $49.99 is steep, but look, you get all of these, one, two, three, I think it's 12, three, six, nine, 12, yeah, 12. You get 12 different kinds of wine in one box. Five white, four red, three rosé, Hello Summer wine sampler. So here's all the different kinds they have in the pack. But I would say there's definitely at least like two glasses for each of those bottles this would be such a great way to do a wine tasting party you could buy one sample pack have a couple friends over make some really yummy hors d'oeuvres i guys i love party planning i can't wait for all this craziness to be over so i can throw some really fun parties and invite you all along check out this summer deal a four pack of hind sauces ketchup relish mustard $4.99. I feel like a single bottle of Heinz ketchup that's one of these in this size is going to run you like $3 at a regular grocery store. And actually we are out of ketchup and almost out of mustard. We use this a lot. Zero points for mustard on WW. Um, when we're cooking like meat on the grill, it's a great like base on your pork and stuff. But my daughter, obviously I have a toddler. Ketchup is consumed in our household. Sorry for the close up. Five. 29 for 32 count kings hawaiian rolls these definitely are a great deal especially if you guys are barbecuing you do little mini pork sandwich sliders over the holiday it'd be so fun oh, my toddler would devour all of those herself she loves hawaiian bread 749 for these brookside dark chocolate the acai blueberry these i love oh in a different life they're nine points for 16 of these and I would totally grab a handful and just like cork those all back. So delicious. I love dark chocolate and berry. Yum. 130 calories for 12 pieces. See that's where calorie counting versus WW kind of plays with my mind because nine points versus 130 calories that doesn't seem like it adds up right but you know what are you gonna do? Ugh these are so good. Not today. Not today double. Why am I even in the chocolate aisle? And then there's, I think marketing people think if we put the word thin on a bag of chocolate, they won't think it's chocolate. This is still just dark chocolate, almonds, and sea salt, which sounds amazing. Nine points for like a teeny tiny square. No, thank you. Okay, what is this? I promise guys, I left the chocolate aisle. These followed me. What? I have never seen Girl Scout Thin Mint Almonds. Oh, those look phenomenal 170 calories for eight pieces let's see how the ww points so i guess because they're almonds and they have some protein of nuts and stuff these ones are coming in at only seven points for eight pieces i mean that's still way too much for me to even consider them but it's so funny points versus calories so interesting these look phenomenal though now these look interesting organic crispy coconut rolls they look like a crispy sweet wafer real coconut milk roasted black sesame seeds these these sound intriguing guys they are let's see 7.99 pretty decent sized bag i did scan the points and okay 153 for eight pieces i feel like eight pieces would be a lot though like you could easily do four pieces i think for a snack or a snack these look super delicious and then look at this big daddy. Holy Toledo, 34 pounds. I couldn't even lift that into my cart probably. Who wants to come put this in my cart? Tell me you live in Georgia without telling me you live in Georgia. The air conditioning and fans near the front of the store where the doors are is insane. I'm so cold. Is this necessary? When you have a three-year-old, you can't leave Costco without. And I mean, our whole family is a fan of the veggie straw. This bag, oh my goodness gracious, it is 25 ounces of veggie straws. I don't think I could fit that in my pantry. Although for $5.99, I might try. Have you guys tried plantain chips yet? What did you think of them? I really like the spicy ones. They have at Trader Joe's, the Cajun flavor, or no, the Jamaican flavor ones. They're super good. 
Um, I can't eat too many of them because they're super spicy. And then this spring they came out with a dark chocolate drizzled one and they were really, really yummy. These are interesting, they're just plain though. $5.99 for 20 ounces. They do not taste like banana. I just love flowers. Spray roses in particular are some of my favorites. I'm not as big a fan of like regular roses. I love hydrangea too, but this looks pretty whippy. I don't know if you guys saw my video a couple weeks ago. I found hydrangeas at Trader Joe's and I swear they would not die. They lasted for three and a half weeks. That's crazy, especially for hydrangeas. They can be kind of particular. Ooh, looks Memorial Day ones. So festive. Okay, I said I wasn't a big fan of regular roses, but look at how beautiful these dark pink and red combo are. Oh, I love flowers. I feel like they have really good prices on nut butters. $6.69 for, let's see, a 27 ounce jar of almond butter. That's like a really good price. I feel like you would pay that amount for half the size at Target. We're a peanut butter family though. We don't use other nut butters usually, unless I'm baking with them. I have bought almond butter to bake with before and it was quite delicious. Oh, organic strawberry spread and homemade looking jams. Why, no thank you. I made my own this year. Y'all, we bought four gallons of strawberries at the farm this year over Mother's Day weekend. I jammed it, I baked it, I used it in savory dishes. If you guys haven't checked out my strawberry video yet, check it out, it's on my channel. I feel like I've had people ask me before where you get like PB2 powder or PB Fit. It's the same thing, it's just powdered peanut butter, but you can rehydrate it with water and use it like regular peanut butter and it comes in at way less points and calories. Like here you go, two tablespoons, 70 calories. I think two tablespoons of regular peanut butter. Hang on, we can check, they have peanut butter here. They sell that. Good old Jif. Oh my gosh, stop. Two tablespoons, 190 calories. All right, well, I have not personally used the PB2 powders. But that's not true. I used them once. My brother had brought some to my house and left it there. I used up the rest of that container and I used it for like protein drinks and stuff, but I think I'm gonna get some PB2 powder. I think that's a really good price for this big of a container. And I wanna kinda try it out in some baking or some oatmeal or oatmeal bars. I think it'd be really good for a meal prep. How you doing? You guys hanging in there? Are you having fun shopping with me? I've been here for like an hour already and I haven't even opened my list. I've just been wandering and showing you guys fun things. I guess I should get the stuff I actually came for now. This is a steal. Three pounds of organic chia seeds for $6.99. We have just discovered chia seeds and started like baking with them, putting in oatmeal and in like powder ball snacks and stuff. So great. They have so many great nutrients. They're great with fiber. If you need to get more of that in your diet or your kids, hide them in their little treats. Yum. I really wish I could figure out what just like the WW points or calories were for the noodles because I would love to try making my own pho soups like with chicken broth, adding egg and green onion and making just like a really yummy simple Vietnamese pho dish. Pho, pho, I'm sorry I'm saying that wrong but I really love it but every time I find them in the store all of the nutrition packs are for the package including the seasonings, the oil, all that stuff. So I don't know how to figure that out. All right, y'all, here's where you do your math when you come to Costco. So Del Monte whole kernel corn, 12 15.25 ounce cans, 9.99. At Aldi, when I took you guys earlier this week, they had corn on sale for 47 cents a can. Your better bet is to go back to Aldi and just buy 12 cans for six bucks. Also, name brand, 14.99. Kirkland brand, 8.69. That's what you're getting, Lila. Hope you like it. Although I will say, there's 24 in here and there's 28 in there. So it offsets it slightly, but not $7 much. Also, I don't know the deal in here with music today, but there's been karaoke, there's been Disney music, and now they're playing 90s, 2000s, Backstreet Boys and NSYNC music. I'm not mad about it. I feel like $9.69 for six 12 ounce cans of the solid white tuna and water. This is the Kirkland brand. That seems awesome. For eight cans, eight seven ounce cans. Too good to be true. That was for the canned chicken. Tuna, $15.49. Does anybody else find the irony of putting $7.99 Vienna sausages next to a $100 box of Serrano ham? Costco, you have a sense of humor. And it's other neighbor, buddy. Spam. Ooh, 25% less sodium. So as a family of three, this is the kind of stuff I skip on still. I know it's a great price for $5.49 for that giant bottle of soy sauce, but I get this, my olive oil 
those kind of jarred things, I, I do get the spray avocado oil here because it's a great price and I can fit it in my pantry, but these just don't make sense. This would take me five years to go through. So those things I still hold off and I either get them at Walmart or sometimes um, like olive oil and stuff. I love to get at Trader Joe's. They have really good price on those kinds of things and they're really good quality. But those right there, I'm peeking through to the other side of the other aisle. Those are awesome. We still have one left though, so I'm not gonna pick one up today. It'll be a restock next time. If they had the turkey version, it would be game over. But no turkey version of the Hormel pepperoni, just the regular. That would be so awesome. Dear Costco, can we get the turkey version? That'd be great. I'm waiting, call me. $6.99, cauliflower bites. Let's see. Are these what I think they are? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're just dehydrated cauliflower pieces. No thanks. Here's a delicious dehydrated vegetable I can get behind. These are super good. They're great on salads, they're great for snacking. If you guys haven't tried these yet, I definitely highly suggest. I'm sorry, more dehydrated vegetables? M mushroom crisps? Okay, if any of you guys have tried the cauliflower or the mushroom, dehydrated crisp things please let me know in the comments i do love mushrooms but it kind of freaks me out i think i saw they had something similar to this at trader joe's for the seasonal products i'm hoping to head there next week and do another haul for you guys but i just i just don't get it i don't know do you eat them just as is do you rehydrate them and put them in like rice and things i don't know i'm confused uh, pray for my health journey guys. Josh brought home a box of these when he came to pick up wine the other night for National Wine Night because I asked him to stop and get a bottle. Uh, he brought this six pack of Ghirardelli chocolate brownies. These are seriously the best brownies ever. If you guys have a special treat kind of thing coming up and just want some really delicious easy brownies, best brownies I've ever had and you make them in under an hour. So good. I might make these, ooh, you know what? Maybe I'll make them in our mini muffin pan so I can control the portions. That's sacrifice balance right we're all about healthy balance here 10.99 for two pounds of pecans that sounds like an awesome deal but if you guys have seen my cooking and meal prep videos i have an entire bowl of in the shell pecans sitting waiting to be shelled we can actually use those they're real a friend of ours has pecan trees and gave them to us but I'm too lazy to shell them, so they might just stay as decor. I picked up this buttery steakhouse seasoning the first time we came. Ooh, it is so good. It's so good, guys. I use it on eggs, meat, chicken, mm, veggies. I got a great tip from Eden. Oh, I will tag her channel down below, but she shops Costco too, and girlfriend, you were so right. These on some air fried veggies, mwah. Ooh, lemon pepper. Okay, and then they have this, the blend salt, pepper, and garlic. Ooh, I basically use garlic on everything. Garlic with love, guys. Garlic with love. Again, great price, $14.99. But when will I ever use this vat of extra virgin olive oil? I hardly use oils as is anymore. In baking, I swap it out for unsweetened applesauce. In cooking, I use the spray kind to try and use less. So that would take me like 10 years to get through. There you go, guys. There's some keto paleo brownies if you don't want to go for the Ghirardelli. But I suggest the Ghirardelli. And like, here's a more reasonable size bottle just to have regular oil on hand. But it's $13.99. And I feel like I can get, that's the Kirkland brand. I feel like I can get better quality olive oil. Not that that's not good quality. I think Kirkland is very good quality. I really love all their stuff. But I just think I can get better stuff at Trader Joe's for less. You guys, I asked you if you wanted me to do a shop with me and haul or just the haul. And 98% of you said shop with me too. You wanted to see everything. This is a long one. Did you grab a snack? Maybe stop and get a snack. These are something different. Aussie bites. Oats, apricots, flax seeds, sunflower seeds, honey, coconut, quinoa, chia seeds, and more. Zero trans fat, two grams of fiber, omega-3s. This is upside down, but 130 calories per piece. They kind of look like a soft baked cookie, but if you did them in a muffin tin. Hmm, 1049. Those look super interesting. I might put those on the list for next time to try. I have my snack quote on that. Womp, remember last spring when everyone started baking bread and you couldn't find yeast anywhere? $4.59. I saw people trying to sell these containers on Amazon for like $20 a package. It's a little early in the season, but I picked up a watermelon last time. I was here like three weeks ago and they were already so good. So I'm gonna pick one up for this weekend. Instant savings, that is such a good deal for three 11 ounce packages of turkey breast meat for sandwiches, 
I normally get some of their thicker cut stuff, but that's a good deal. Let's just grab it. I'm gonna use it to make like some pinwheel sandwiches on low carb tortillas this weekend, I think. Oof. 99% fat free, gluten free, no artificial ingredients, nitrates. Let's give it a try. Buy one, get one free of the brownie brittle. If you guys haven't tried this, it's such a great um, low point sweet treat snack as long as you can like control yourself. And I don't know that I could with these extra large bags and having two of them. But if you had a friend who had a Costco membership or you wanted to split things or bring something to someone, that would be really nice. We picked up our first fresh cherries of the season and they were so, so good. But fresh cherries are really expensive. So it's nice to get some frozen ones when you can find them and at a good price because you can add them so many things, smoothies or you know protein shakes, all that kind of stuff. So, yep. Okay guys, choices were made. Frozen stuff is starting to get in my cart, which means we gotta get going. So excited to finally try these. These are supposed to be dupes for Chick-fil-A nuggets. Staple. Now that is a really great deal and oh man, I still have some. Do I stock up now? Mm. Parents with kids, Mr. Clean Erasers. $3 limit to, that's a good deal, $6.99. I think you get 11 of them. Oh, and they have different kinds. Extra durable, kitchen, and bath. Also some instant savings on the Kirkland free and clear liquid laundry detergent. Oh man, I can hardly lift that. 146 loads. All the things we would have given anything for last year, am I right? Clorox wipes are back, the bottles of bleach are back. I love using these to clean like our toilets because I don't like using reusable things on them. Also, if you guys like the method sprays, these are a three set of all purpose cleaners in all different scents, wildflower, citron, and bamboo. $7.99 for three bottles. I don't know if you guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but I'm going for the five dozen pack. We have a huge freezer prep. I'm getting ready to film for you guys and prep us to have lots of good breakfasts ready to go in the freezer for summer to make it easy. And I think we're gonna go through them. There's three people in my house. One of those is a three-year-old toddler and we will eat five dozen eggs in the next three weeks before they go bad. So for four two count packs, which is eight egg bites, $9.99, I just got five dozen eggs to make my own egg bites for $7. Make it yourself. Clutch, can't leave without a register chicken, guys. Did you know? They lose money on these because they're so cheap and they're such good big chickens but they're at the back of the store and they know you're gonna walk all the way and you're gonna pick up something else. So that's where they make up the money. Isn't that so crazy? Marketing. I was hoping to find a multi-pack of fresh ground turkey, but I keep only seeing both here and at Aldi, only the 93% lean, no 99%. So I feel like I'm not gonna get the multi-pack and I'm just gonna wait until I can find the 99%. Sorry guys, I forgot to film for a hot second because I'm kind of trying to rush to get out of here before my frozen stuff melts. These tomatoes look so delicious though. We've been really into making the TikTok feta pasta. Like we can't get enough of it, it's so good. Um, and last time I was here, I bought feta, so we really need to use it up. So I guess it's on the menu again this week. Cucumbers are probably one of the only veggies here, that three pack that I know I won't go through before they all kind of go bad. I love these little bites, they're so cute. You could totally make really great pickles at home. And I just bought a ton of bell peppers at Aldi. And to be honest, six count bag, $6.99. I think I got a better price at Aldi. However, the avocados are a really good deal at $6.59. I know that I will go through them. I've been loving avocado toast and I know I will coming up as the weather gets warm. It's one of my faves. Yum. I'll eat it with my millions of eggs that I have. These are massive. $4.49 for a five count of these tiny artisan romaine hearts, but they're so cute. And they're not so big as like the three packs I normally get. And I feel like with those, I don't use the bottom half of them because they can be really bitter and not quite ripe yet. So I'm gonna give these a roll. I know it's a lot for just the three of us, but I'm gonna do a lot of salads this week. Raspberries, 12 ounces, five sixty-nine. Ooh, they have fresh cherries too. Looks like they are $9.99 for two pounds. I'm freezing. Get me out of here. <laughs> I go from hot to cold so fast when I'm at 
Costco. This artisano bakery bread twin pack. This is the family's fave bread right now. $3.99 for a twin pack, so that's excellent price for this kind of bread. A little higher in points and calories than any of like the lower carb ones, but I usually just use one piece to make avocado toast. That's usually what I use it for. <laughs> Otherwise I like to use some of the Mission low carb wraps for sandwiches and wraps and things like that. So grabbed a double pack of those too. When you can't push your cart, it's time to go. Okay guys, my camera's about to die. My cart is full. I'm heading to the checkout. I'll see you when I get home. Thanks for coming shopping with me today at Costco. Make sure you head back here for part two of today's video where I'm sharing my huge haul from today, as well as prices, calories, and WW points for all items purchased.